Hey, Coco Rocha here. Check out Yeah That Look on Fawn. Hi, everyone. So, Chriselle and I got to meet up with supermodel Coco Rocha at her apartment in New York City to chat with her about clothes, makeup, and what makes her so darn fabulous. Well, you're such a role model for younger girls. You show women that it's not really about the physical feature, but it's also from the heart and your passion and what you really want to do. I have a lot of passions, and I think that's what gets me excited. Coco is working on a jewelry line with Sanoa. The jewelry is made by women who are survivors of human trafficking, providing them with a stable income. We schooled them from 4 to about 14, and then when you're 15 to 18, you get the chance to have a job, mm -hmm. and that's jewelry making. You just do it two hours a day. They're still schooling, but now they get the chance to start making some money and see how it feels in the real world. Coco also worked with an organization that provided support to Haiti after the earthquake. She documented her experiences in a film called Letters to Haiti that was directed by her husband, James Conran. So Letters to Haiti was just the documentary about us sending these letters from mm -hmm. around the world. We just asked on my blog and use social media to kind of push through and say, send me a letter and I'll take it personally to these kids and you then can become pen pals. It was just a simple letter. It wasn't sending huge funds. I know that you do like a lot of social media yeah. stuff. Yes, we like. We love social media. Love social media. <laughs> um, I thought it was important. Models, you know, you, you see pictures back in the day, it was just about cheekbones and yeah, no personality. You don't know what they, their feelings, thoughts, what motivates them. And I, I started a little blog. I wrote about silly little things. It was what I'm eating, what I'm doing. And for some reason, people were like, that's amazing. And I thought, OK, I'll. Let's venture into other things. And I got Twitter when it came, Facebook. And I wanted Facebook also to be a good platform for being friends with my fans. I feel like now I have the chance to speak out on my behalf. Like you really have a voice now. Mm -hmm. Whereas back in the day, I don't think models really had that. So you update your Twitter, your two Weibos, mm -hmm. your Facebook timeline, your Tumblr, mm -hmm. and have, YouTube. And Vimeo, <laughs> and Pose, and Instagram. Oh my goodness. I yeah. thought I, we were crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now don't be jealous, but Chriselle actually got to go through Coco's closet and get a feel for her style. This was the first thing I got done in my apartment. So why don't you show me a couple of your key pieces that you cannot live with that. Like, I know all of us girls, let's be real, we have repeat outfits. <laughs> Hopefully, hoping that no one will notice them. I have a few repeats, and I know that people have noticed them. This has always been a good favorite of mine. That is beautiful. Feel yeah, how heavy that is. Oh, wow. This okay. will at least add like a good five pounds. I know, you'll be like, nah, at the end of that. This is beautiful. And this is by Robert Rodriguez. Yes. Like a waxy jean material, huh? Like a war machine. This bad boy, I've worn too many times too. That needs to be retired for a bit. Oh, this is beautiful. Alice and Olivia? Mm-hmm. This is kind of like a, a modern day marching band yes. uniform. See, another going out to war thing. I see that you really like your embellishments on your jackets, black jackets. I love black jackets. I have a lot of my mom's old jackets. This is cute. Yeah. It's like a, a sailor look. What would you wear with this? What would you pair with a vintage jacket like this? I mean, it's at a funny length mm -hmm. too. So it's, it's hard because I've tried long tops and they don't really work. Uh -huh. I've tried short tops with a Hi. Hi. And then I look like a sailor. So. <laughs> it's funny how many sailor jackets I have. This baby is from the 1800s. Wow. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. No joke. It's really from the 18. Yep. James Owen. And he even has that address on there. Yes. They, of this course, is like, beautiful. It, but, but you know what's funny? This almost could look modern, too. Well, I mean. As I wear it with like really oh. tight leggings and like high boots. I mm -hmm. look like Robin Hood's girlfriend. Um, this was another vintage piece that I love and I always seem to find myself wearing. Ooh, this is pretty. It's, this is very different. It's very Egyptian. Um, it has the scallop detailing on here that you don't really see these days. Yeah. As a supermodel, Coco gets a lot of her clothes right off the runway. And we got to check out what the designers are sending it's her. Very Ooh, I love that jacket. Like futuristic. Futuristic, 
what kind of going back to the jackets that you were showing me earlier, it kind of has that same vibe yeah, it of being me strong. Of Rick Owens and Todd Lynn. Totally Rick Owens. Oh, but here we have the embellishment going on that yeah, you like. So you know where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm feeling this. I haven't tried it. I'm of totally this feeling this too. It kind of has a. a it kind of screams out Coco to me. I don't know why. <laughs> And I say Chanel at the same time. <laughs> um, it, it is very me, but it, again, I'm always like, it doesn't look or fit. If it doesn't fit right to me, mm. then it, it's a no. It's all about the fit at the end of the day. I'm one of those people that likes like, hmm, you see my waist, you see my hips. Yeah. And then we cinch it all in. But I so we're back inside Coco's closet, and this time she's showing us her makeup. I'm, I wear makeup every day, nonstop. Have to have foundation, a little bit of a color of some sort definitely mascara and then of course I have funny eyebrows they're very thin there's nothing to them much so I do have to fill them in a lot I love a really good press of the eye and everything goes up I'm literally the girl that's like two fingers I'm like come on you're gonna stick so that's a uh, I love so you're life. really serious I'm about serious that. about my makeup Bobby Brown is one of those things where it's the the palette of all sorts of things. All sorts of concealers. I know, and isn't this funny? Because like, when am I going to use that? But believe it or not, I you, use that. Yeah, you can use them. You use it for other things. I mean, I think to have a, um, instead of a powder for the eye, for your yeah. eyes, a cream is definitely nice. And then, of course, Makeup Forever is something that a lot of the makeup artists use. Oh, yes, I've, I've used this a lot for Halloween tutorials and things. I'm very familiar with that one. <laughs> or, or, or or not, or just, you know, going out getting groceries. That gold is awesome. People don't understand why I have this, but notice my silver and gold have been used the most. Just a little, like, pop in there, and of course sometimes I just go to town with it and then blend in a dark color on top, but this is super good for, like, just popping eyes. Thank you so much, Coco, for giving us an inside look at your makeup and wardrobe.